VCRs, but I got new VCRs and now I gotta start dubbing. That's what I think. Alrighty. I haven't forgot you. I had to tell Fred the same thing. And they said, Oh, that's okay. We 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 we, we, we in the rush. Mm. Oh man, I thought I had them. I was going to sneak up on him. Oh, man. I'm going to give him every picnic he does this to me. Yeah, I've got zoom on it, but I can't zoom on him. I thought I'd sneak up. I said, where does Josh go to? So. Go, go like right over there and zoom on his face. Say, there's Steve. I can't, he's right there. I went to sneak up on him, he's already got his head covered. I said, I wasn't even ready. And he says, I saw you coming at the corner of my eye. I go, ah, oh, man. One of these days, I'm going to get him. Hey, what's it going to do if, if Channel 10 News or 3 comes up at him? Hey, we like you doing a really want to be on there? Ah! <laughs> All of a sudden he dreams, cameras are everywhere. They wake up, oh man, what a nightmare. Oh, Bill's got me paranoid. I'm seeing cameras everywhere. I hope Keith knows that. I hope Keith knows that their satellites are filming him right now. They got satellites that can come down and zoom on a dollar. That's that's the reason why they say speed checks by not uh, radar, but speed speed checks by. Uh, Forced by aircraft. Yeah. He wants to look like it's better than mine. Oh, Probably cost more than mine, too. Okay. How much your watch cost? Uh, $10. $10? Um, I don't know, probably $1.99 or something like that. Keep rolling, bro. Uh, so let me get a ground level shot here. So you let everybody else look in inside of it. Uh, I know how to use this. My friend has one just like this one. Well, let's check out this guy. Yeah, that's, that's what I do. I narrate it while I'm filming. I do comical stuff. Yeah. <laughs> so, is this one 200? Uh, 
one times fifty. Well, it cost me around two hundred dollars. Yeah, but um, it it, um, it has a digital zoom, but but I only use that if I got to do a long distance shot. Yes. This goes up to twenty times zoom. When I hit the digital, I hit the digital, it'll go up to one times twenty, and one times fifty. Cool. Tommy's goes up to uh, three hundred times zoom. My friend has one at seven hundred. Ooh, that's even further. On TV, I've seen one of the eight hundred times zoom. Man, you can see the UFO crisis right there. Yeah. That's pretty good zoom. That's where the government's got to say, uh oh. We got two high tech digital scissors. We can't show the trash can lids anymore. <laughs> Where are our secret cells? Yeah. We can't fix it. Yeah. You know, that's the same way with those triangle lids. Knock it in oh, there, Paul. Trash can lids. Uh, fix the card lids. Uh, All right, Paul. That's how you can do it by color. Yeah, no. But if it's a this sunny day, it's best to go by the black and white because then you can't see inside that. Yeah. You threw it way in there. I found out the hard way. Yeah, this guy's doing. I found out that if you use the color one, it takes more of the battery, too. I didn't know that. Oh, I didn't know that either. I told a lot of people. I told a lot of girls that they could do it. I told a lot of girls that Well, I like to go like this and watch this thing go over. Yeah, that's what I do. I follow, try to follow it. I, I happened to be filming this kickball thing, you know, where they used with the bat and mm -hmm. looked out a rusty yeah. can and hit. I filmed it right when they hit John right in the character. So you, you have you ever tried to do like a, um, something for American Twenty Two videos? Um, I I told Tommy and him to mail it off. I'm thinking I should do it. But there's a funny skit if you watch the part where Michael Hunt disappears. He's sitting there trying to hunt, hunt for the black hole. <laughs> the thing is, I, I said, Mike, you need to stop this. He said, oh, I know where the secret pack door is in the white and the black sheet. All I got to do is walk around the trash can. It's right there. I, we don't need to rehearse it, but one. Well, when the time to show it, he's sitting there trying to find the and he's moving the front. Mm -hmm. There you go. He's m trying to pop back up, come back down. Mm -hmm. Then he goes over by my Super X levy, trying to look there. And you hear David's father, who's filming with the camera at the time, going, hee hee. I just laughing. And I'm thinking, oh, great. And I said, Mike, the black, kind of in code, the black hole is right here. The black hole. Oh, and then he disappears. Oh. Uh -huh.
we have the, the privilege and opportunity to walk in light because God is our light. Um, he was going to say that he, will, he may give you, uh, may be a son to you, or he, you know, later on is going to be his. And, and often we go to the point in our lives where we think, you know, we don't see God. But the truth is we get focused more on the circumstances of the situation than on God. It's like if you ever walk through a, a yard and you can have, in my, in my, in my house we have mercury vapor light, and that, that lights up everything around the yard. If you're focused in the direction of the light, everything around you can see. If you turn around, all you see is black, because it's night. What happens? You, you turn your focus away from God. Um, and so basically, God is the sun for us. But then secondly, notice Jesus is for us. Uh, Psalm 20, 28, verse 7 says,
Crocodile again. I can't. Pete can do the crocodile. He is four okay. times better. How you do it? Well, he. I seen him do it. <laughs> he can do a whole lot better. See you later. Okay. Is my friend Garrett here? Okay. Rocket. We're from the outback, that is. Hey, oh yeah, Mike. Hey, this is right. Yeah. Oh, we gotta uh, go now. Oh um, man, we're getting good here. Uh, Um, R.J. Campbell, or I think that's who it was. Do, I said, do, do the um, crocodile guy. And he says, no, yeah. ch Chase is better. I go, he could do it? Hold on, I gotta see uh, okay. Oh. Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. Look through it. Then Tommy got one that costs a little bit more than that. It has more bells and whistles to it. Mine goes up to one times 50 zoom and I hit the digital zoom, but if not, it'll just say 10 times 20. And Dave's, I forgot how far his goes. And Dave Duncan's. And his father's goes lesser than that. That's the reason why he wanted to use the Dave's camera to go to the Falcon show. And what's interesting, his dad says, Dave, you're going to get your camera. That way you can have your camera. Because I need my camera. Well, now that Dave's got a powerful camera, and his dad, Dave said, guess what? My dad's using my camera now. And it's kind of comical. It's more powerful. But Tommy's got seven times, what is it? 300 times zoom, but, and then Jordan says he's got to finish it 700 times zoom. 
And I see my TV got 800 pounds in. What's your favorite hobby? Actually, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I'm still on it. I like the juggle do tricks and dub magic tricks and dub trick stuff. They look like they're having an ice fight. They did that last year, but only it was Ben Hancock throwing it at the girls and the girls throwing it on his back. <laughs> and I said, I was like, hey, Ben, Ben. And on the camera, I said, uh, uh, this, is, don't, this reminds you of the uh, Pippin' Patty? And he goes, yeah, refreshing. Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, my God. Ah, oh, runaway ball. I'm holding two hands, I would have grabbed the football. I I could never throw that. You can throw farther than I can. Someone, who's that? Oh, it's Carl. Carl's in that truck. That's his video, what do you call it? Oh, boat ride. carry that much. That's a good talent right there. I can't do that. Hello. Hi, Daniel. You want to look inside of it? Here's your forward and backward. This is towards you. This is getting closer up. Uh, pose like a magician. There you go. Yeah. Oh, we got tangled here. There we go. Yeah. Uh, I don't think he's left yet. I don't think he would leave. There he is. There's your dad right there. There's Mark. Is Mark going to pretend to knock into someone's vehicle? <laughs> no, run over to people. Mark's going to pretend to run over people. He said the blow horn, the way he said. He had a blow horn on the seat beside him. Oh, the heck? Don't have that oh, well, last year he had fun with that. He was sitting there going, uh, uh. And Kenny, he said, give me that. I'm not videotaping, I'm doing tricks. <laughs> I like... Yeah, I know. We need to get one of these centinella candles in here or something. Huh? We ought to get some centinella candles in here or something. Like that. Yeah. <laughs> or, or you don't want it. I think these new kind, we got propane gas or something like that. We're going to leave, huh? New high-tech version. Did he go, then? Yeah. 
so I could do some tricks. <laughs> I had to get in there somehow. There you go. Yeah. There you go. But before that, I got him, he's doing some kind of comical acting, and I go, ah, oh, and he saw the camera, he goes, ah, oh. and he said, I said, I always wanted to get Jimmy acting, he said, yeah, uh, you're going to charge like two bucks for mission. And I go, I don't know about that. My dad, Mark Hill, made an appearance for a while and then went back to it. Yeah, that worked. Yeah. How's it going over there? Doing okay? It seems to be all right. He said he just last night he made a batch of brownies to take over there. Oh. And uh, he was letting Cheryl know information, so when she goes over there, she'll know what to do. Yeah. So they both work over there. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't have it on camera, but my dad pointed to um, Bobby Page, the, the littlest of the um, Cheryl's uh, daughters. And my dad said, you're getting fat, and, and, she, and she kind of smiled and patted her tongue. <laughs> and I said, "Yeah, I know." And I'm thinking, I didn't have the camera at the time when I, I, I was eating at the time. I didn't. I got caught off guard. I dug that, we spent at the hotel, and then um, then we went to Bush Gardens, I filmed that, and then w with my niece and nephew, Tommy uh, took my niece and nephew and his nephew, uh, Andy, we all went to Water Country, I filmed that, then between there I went and did all the rides and waters too. Mm -hmm. Then, then, um, I'm looking at oh, okay. Um, and then, uh, the Plan to go to Water Country again. Oh, we got some of this away right here. Tomatoes. Anybody want them? Hey, Carl, we throwing these away. Yeah. Christy, you want these tomatoes? You like them so much? Huh? Okay. okay. We plan to go to Water Country again. And, oh, really? And this time. I've been to Water Country ever. Ever? I've no, been to Wild Water Rapids. Wild Water Rapids. Uh, it used to be, it's called uh, Ocean Breeze. <laughs> ocean Breeze. Well, we plan to go over there, but only not, not for the Ocean Breeze part. Because uh -huh. Andy wants to ride the road cars, so we're going to we're going to plan that routine. And Put that thing down and start getting busy, man. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Come on. Yeah. Um, Are you hey, still going? Is hey, is Gallagher here? In case I'm going to try to look right up in the air, like where? They're eating watermelon while we're looking for help. I'm helping Jimmy and Jim. I'm helping them put the uh, stuff in the truck. I'm exhausted, trying to 
I told him I'm not going, not like Papa. And Kelly Scott laughed at Jimmy, he said he's not Papa, and I go, ha ha ha. I guess there's a television. Is the three-wheel plastic thing that you... Uh, yeah. He used, to, he used to go riding as hard as he could uh, down, down, the, down the court and then turn and skid your wheels out. Um, did you ever do those? I love those things, man. Did you ever have one? I had my bicycle like I just go slide on those. Well, we had bikes too, but uh, no, before you were in a bike, you are in the big wheels. Yeah. And, the, and the court. And you had the brake right on the side? Uh, no, I never had one. I had, a, I had an Incredible Hulk one. And uh, that's back when it first came out, I guess. I've been watching money now. Uh, yeah, yeah. The, the wheels were, you know, became hollow pretty much because <laughs> you skid them out so bad. Stop right. filming, man. Turn I used to have off. a big wheel, yellow and red. Yeah, there you go. Although, don't run it into a tree. When I was a kid, I ran into a tree and the whole thing split in the middle. <laughs> I'll bet. They're just plastic. And I'm hitting her holding the handle. I'm thinking, what happened? <laughs> I even had a mighty mo truck to push it. Take some of that corn. We're leaving you, man. Come on. Yeah. Mom, I got me again. Take some of that corn. It's the Lord, though. Hey, Jimmy. Hey. I'll find things. Right. Okay. Take all this footage and dub it. Make everybody I'm gonna make you guys coffee. I'll put your two commercials up front. <laughs> you can't. You don't have to go. Excuse me, sons, but I gotta find my two commercials. <laughs> All right. Uh, All right. <laughs> I got a little, a lot of funny footage on here. Can imagine. Uh, Mark running over the girls and. The grown up girls in a truck, I thought he was going to sneak up and pretend to hit Rusty's truck. Instead, now, my mind thought that, but my, I was close. He tried to run over the grown up in the <laughs> truck. And someone says, There's fog hordes in there. And, you know, in other words, they'll grab it if they're going to knock them in. <laughs> then I got uh, an interesting footage that I don't think John would, Sean would like to play back too much. But it, I got the part where Rusty got some, his, his hands are sweaty. The ball, the. Um, went out and hit, hit, hit him right in the chest. Boom! <laughs> right in the shoulder, too. Oh, yeah. I don't know about the horseshoes, but I, <laughs> I don't know if I got a footage, but I, I got Mike Rock saying, you okay? You okay? And I aim over there. It, 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 and John Hancock said, like, uh, praise the Lord, the kids are right. You almost got hit by a horseshoe. Oh, yeah, all that. Yeah. I don't know. I have to play back see if I got that, too. I, I was panning at the time when he said that. I got Jimmy doing some kind of uh, funny uh, action skit in front of his hands right there. Oh, yeah. I was filming, and then as he's doing it, when he was halfway finished, he saw the camera and he goes, <laughs> I always wanted to get Jimmy on camera, and he says, and Jimmy says something like, uh, you're charged for missing like $2 or something. <laughs> so in return, I, ho I said, here, hold this camera. Hold the camera. Tell me doing that because I did the egg bag, I did the scarf tricks and all that stuff right on the page. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Jimmy said, can I inspect that egg? <laughs> okay, it's wooden, but besides the point, let's do the trick. Yeah. I put the egg in the bag, squish it up, look, scrambled egg. Oh, it's not there. Inside in, inside out. Reach in there, make a noise of the chicken, cluck, cluck, reach in, there's the egg. Yeah. 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 I'm going to 
What you want? What you want to do? Ride bikes or something? Oscar went down there and he told me that they were going for a boat ride. Oh, oh. Someone mentioned it. I don't know. Uh, they mentioned the name. That's probably where most of the pe kids went. They were down with him all here. It's a rocky there. Does this blow it? Can we find out? You want to find out this book? They're in the water. Oh no, don't throw a $200 camera away. <laughs> then Tommy's only got the one with the 300 times zoom. His is more powerful than Dave's and mine put together. Objects are closer than they appear. Yeah, point. <laughs> Tell that to direct the truck. What's up? What's up? Ice. Why, oh, you're on camera. Paul, get this on video. He's just in park. Paul, get this on video. Paul, Paul, get this on video. Paul, get this on video. Paul, get this on video. Oh, you watch that too, huh? On TV. Paul, get this on video. I can make this ball disappear. Watch. Oh, no! Yeah! Oh, it reappears. It went to the UFO and came back. Want to see it again? This is amazing, kids. Watch again in slow motion. Woo! How in the world does he do it? Get this too. All right, here we go. This is N1, volume five, take two. Ready? Mix take four. Oh, he got him that time. Oh, 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 he dribbles it out. Take him back. Oh, look at him. Erase that. Erase that. Erase it. Hello, Mrs. and Mr. Hancock. <laughs> I <laughs> 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 got that from Blair. <laughs> you like that? People get that all, uh, with me all the time. When they're like, hey, you want to get that? Whoa. Hey, Paul, get him doing that. That is me. I like that. I can tell you. Hey, I know Cameron makes you catch balls, right? You ready? Whoa. Whoa. What do you think they did? Y'all put ice on his shirt? Y'all put ice on his shirt? Yes. This is one of the days of your life on the City Park thing. Ben and the girls were swinging uh, throw ice on the back. Who? Ben Hancock last night. Oh, oh. Ice in the back. Do you keep the videos? Look, yeah, look I at make the next for, LeBron I make, James. I make, for, I make copies for everybody. Oh, okay. Cool. Look at LeBron. I haven't even seen um, the, the pictures they got me. All right. Well, I have to give you that. I got a rest. No, I'm not. Abby Lee. Check out the DC machine. We're going up. Okay, and the chain. The chain's nice. Wings and shirt. Um, I, I wanted it for Christmas and then, um, the story is, uh, Hello, what's your name? What do you think? I think your name is Mr. Mr. Nobody. Yup. Lucky guy. Christmas present. 
They let me open up so that way by my Christmas time.
Ben de bir tane vereyim. Bakalım nasıl söyleyeyim. Bakalım nasıl söyleyeyim. Bakalım nasıl söyleyeyim. Bakalım nasıl söyleyeyim. Where is it? It's in the... Uh, I'm going to see if you understand what it is. You're wearing a glove. It's in the TT. Okay, hey, show me your hand real quick. Uh, in the hand? No, that hand. The hand? In the pocket. In the pocket? In the pocket. In the pocket? Let's see in my pocket. Uh, well, it's not easy to do, is it? I'll hold the camera. Because uh, you still recording. I don't know if you turned it off or on or what. Yep, it's still recording. This is not the best, best one, but anyway. I used to have a better one that I could, I could go like this, I could show my hands. Where did you get those cream for home so You go like that, and, you, you, and then you just reach in and go like this and pull it out. But I used to have a better, better one that I could do it at a distance you wouldn't know, and I could turn a one into a five and back to a one. Yeah. How do you do that? Just, just How do you do that? Just like any hands can win. Yeah, small hands. He doesn't reveal secrets. Um, just for mega illusions, I reveal it. Hey man, it's your hand. It's cheap. Look at this, it's that fake. It's a waffle, though. Now, if you want to reveal something, the statue will really disappear with its lazy tool. There's the audience, there's the statue. They're looking to a ring of light. It's in the helicopter, follow, follow the movement, drop the sheet. It looks like it's gone, and a fake video blip off the radar. It cost Copper $500,000 to do that, and Jim Steinmark has seen the best way to do it. Mm. Now, the word jet... Well, I, I showed the diagram of your dad one time. He said, that Copper, he's quite a ring. I said, well, yeah, but John Gon helped build the illusion, and there's a lot of people behind the scenes that help him. Hey, Jim, are you a favorite player? Yeah, he said, too. He's coming up with another special. He's going to, I forgot where it is, in Ireland right, somewhere, or uh, where that big tower is. That's where it is. He's going to do some kind of bridge jump like we're doing and tied up. I think it's a straight jack, and he's going to jump over and hang up. Well, there's no game today, but I like how he does that. And I like when he does a car trick. So can I show you something that can transcend? That's how he does that. But um, I don't got the deck of cards. I do the deck of cards. Why did you learn all that magic? Uh, Bob Schofield, you know, some Peter with that tuba bike. Him and Fred Stahl, the one today, this morning, that the uh, pastor said this is Fred Stahl, and he did, like, the morning thing. Fred Stahl, uh, Tom and Matt. Oh. Um, Fred Stahl, uh, Fred Stahl helped me, and Bob Schofield, and some kids around my neighborhood to come up with books and hand it to me. And they said, here, Bill, I'll trust you with it. I, I deserve a copy, and I handed it back to him. You know, it was like that. And then I just played every day to learn all the big stuff, and now I know it. That's it. It's like a Learjet jet van. And cop through, that was his first major illusion. And he, even in the interview, he says, a lot of magicians, even nowadays, made elephants, like the beginning, made elephant things. Well, he says, nobody's made a jet disappear, so, we, you know, same kind of thing, we just made a video. What they did, they just called it out the back. The reason why you don't know that, yeah. the reason why you don't know they hold it out the back, because the back spectators, they have blindfolds around it when they form a circle around the hand, they're part of the act, and they help wheel, even though they drain the fuel of the seven-ton rear jet, they wheel it out the back, and then there's a netting, a stage netting, so, you know, like on stage, you see the netting change in each time, you can see through it at certain times when you backlight it and front light it, where you have it at night, you drape it all around there, and you can't see it, it looks like this back city uh, runway. And then when they drop the sheets all around, take off your blindfolds, folks, we did it. And then they take off the blindfolds, and the people in the front are like, whoa. The people in the back are acting amazed too, but they're being paid, so, you know. <laughs> but, um... They're being paid. Good thing it wasn't any hotter than what it was. Yeah. It would have been. Definitely. All right, yeah. Okay, it's here.
feed it to the onions. Four thirty five one. I don't know if I could drive with no hands when I was your age or not. <laughs> they get a lot of practice, don't they? I still can't. I got to hold on the handlebars. <laughs> you want a piece of watermelon? I tried it, and one time I almost flipped over. I was like, whoa! <laughs> Takes a skill to go with no hands. I can't do that. The only thing I remember, the only thing I could do is put a card on a with a clothespin and sound like a motorcycle while the spokes went. I hope Bob hasn't left yet. That's on the bike park over there. Okay. Because he bought me and David Lloyd in the van. I hope he... <laughs> Well, I saw his bike down there. Alright. What did you ask him? You say you got a, what, for a boat ride or something? Yeah. A boat ride? Uh, that's fine. Oh, I did it again. <laughs> I missed that wheelie. Oh. Yeah. Let's go get the lawnmower. Lawnmower? Where's Hazel? That's Grandpa. I mowed at lawns. Lawnmower. Mm. Never mind. I gotta mow my lawn. Oh, <laughs> A long time ago, you had to push it. Yeah, I've done that. Mm. And create tan blisters. I always picture someone making a humongous lawnmower, like the biggest piece and the biggest timber. <laughs> And that way, you, all you got to do is just lay it down on the line with a big and blade and one sweep, you know? It's like a big vacuum cleaner, you know? I'd be careful doing it in the street because you hurt real bad. You're not bionic and you're, you're not the bionic boy and bionic man and, all, and bionic woman with all the technology to avoid hurts and cuts. You know? Yeah, I like yeah. 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 You, you do know that stuff is fake, don't you? So don't do it for real, because they got it rigged up. Oh, no. Okay, Andrew. Move this wood. Move this wood. Turn your direction. Tommy, right? Don't erect... No, that's Bobby. 
Tommy is the one that drives. He's the one with the black hair. Tommy. He's tall. Tommy is the one that's got the hot wheel shoes and got fire on them. No, that's Andy. <laughs> Who drives? Drives Tommy. He's talking about Tommy. He says. So he, Joey just said, you're Tommy, right? And I said, no, his name is Bobby. I wouldn't climb that, I wouldn't climb that, because you're not allowed to climb that, Bobby. You know what Mr. Story said. Am I allowed to climb it? No. How much, oh, I forgot how much you weigh. I weighed you, now I forgot. Oh, 80-something. 80, 80, I don't know what it was. 85. Andy weighs 96, although after eating a, six, a large candy bar the other day, and plus a lot of fish sticks and shrimp and four, four or five hot dogs and two hamburgers and two chickens. I don't know where it all goes, but it's starting to stick out. I bet he weighs more than 96 now. No. No. I'm a good climber, too. I can get the top. Yeah, but Polly's got something you guys don't. No. Don't have the ability to be scared. No, no, no. Which means he'll end up doing things that average children would think would be scary. He doesn't have fear. Ah. He doesn't feel pain either. Hey, that's weird. I well, was you should, you right should see. Well, you saw, you saw, you saw the bike on it on on Andy. Yeah, or, I saw or, that on tape. That was hilarious. Andy's bike. Andy did that little flip, but he got up. Vance <laughs> did it, land smack on his face. I'd be down there in pain. He gets up like a six million dollar man, like yeah. busted off like nothing. I, I'd be going. Ow, 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 I'm bleeding. Peel, right? Call the doctor. <laughs> yeah. You know those little things you call banana peels? Yeah. Little things that got three wheels that have, you have to use your legs to steer? Yeah. I was riding the fence, I was zigzagging down the road, right? Yeah. And then I made it, it did a flip and it, land, and it landed right on top of it. Yeah. I just got out with oil running down my face right here. I didn't even do nothing. I didn't cry on nothing. Oh, he's up there. Mm. Like, hey, why should I be? Why am I like not hurt? Well, you know, we, sometimes you don't even know you cut yourself and you look. Where did that come from? Bobby's already snapped his teeth out and never felt it. Mm. He's broken to pieces and never felt pain. Ow. Man, I don't tell you. Yeah, yeah, well, that's when you find out the roots are rotted. <laughs> you uh. want to find out the teeth are missing. Because uh. once the top of the tooth is broke, the bottom rot. Well, I've had toothaches and I don't like those really They don't much. feel it. I got to take... Painkillers. Loveliest child in the world. Lack of pain. What? Man, I wish I had that ability. He was born dead. Mm. Born That's dead. how he got that ability. But he revived him. Yeah. So his brain got... Yeah, it doesn't compute like everybody else's does. No. That's weird. Well, see, when you're, de brain when you're dead, your brain needs air and function. And oxygen. if oxygen and, and his didn't have it, if you don't get enough, if you don't get your brain into oxygen in enough time, you can be brain dead. But his is only half, so I mean he can talk and everything. But a friend of mine named Bob Scope, who's a magician, he don't live too far from here, picks it up in the church van. He he um has a special kid named Peter. <laughs> he was brain dead all the way, and he can pronounce things, but he doesn't know who he is. And he d when he yeah, says, there's different levels to the brain damage. Yeah. Him, he just learns very difficultly, and he doesn't feel pain like everybody else does, and he has no fear. I mean, he goes, he goes, he, get? he tells Bob, Daddy, Daddy, chicken nuggets, chicken nuggets, and stuff like that, or, you know. You just like sitting up there, don't he you? He goes, Twain, Twain. Yeah, Peter hey, Twain. I know. So for Christmas he got a train set and he got a. That's cool. Yeah. His dad uh, takes care of him and he um he uh, uh made a special has a special bike so that they can go riding. So Peter pick and pedal and his dad Bob can pedal and they pedal around here and they go around. Here. It's like a two bike thing. It's kind of. If they go along. Yeah. I'd be kicking it up in the air. Yeah, I saw it in hell. I can't find it. Dad, I so he's on, but Bob Scope has also got a KTM motocross bike because when he was a teen, he used to race semi-pro. And he prayed to Jesus and he won that one of the races by a wing and a prayer. That's how I put it. Wing and a prayer, Bob. You wore that one by a wing and a prayer. He was he was the very last one to get in the race, juice up the uh, gas. And they said, no, I don't need a full tank. I can do it. 
He left, he left church. And the others are still waiting. Oh, man, we got to wait on Bob. Well, come on. And all of a sudden, he's way behind. He's like, oh, we got Bob. Yeah, we're going to win. All of a sudden, he cleared the whole four or three, uh, uh, you know, those things you go up and down on, the motocross thing. He cleared either three or four of them. He landed on the edge and came right into first place. And I thought, man, you won that race by a wing and a prayer, Bob. A wing and a prayer. And he said, in a sense, it showed those other teenagers that, um, that you know, you have faith in Jesus and you need to go to church. They didn't go to church. They didn't win the race. <laughs> and he was very last. And he, he had half a tank of gas. Yes. He records, he likes to, even to this day, he records Ricky Carmichael and all them. You know? Hey, Daddy. Better. There was one, this one Christian guy, I forgot his name, he took him and his daughter Leslie, I don't, I, I don't know if Peter went or not, but um, it was, um, he, he was, he was get, trying to get that guy's attention, to, that, or how many laps behind he is, and when he caught the idea, then he noticed that, hey, Bob knows something, he knows the same what we know, and he would be able, and he was able to tell him, tell him, how many laps far back he go like a three, two, and he got the idea, and and he says, and he mentioned the place that he uh, he's thankful for in a, in a magazine, and Bob says he knew he meant, meant him, because he, he helped him that day. Is that? You know, hey, Billy, I can't get If it wasn't for Bob, the guy would have just be down and out. Oh man, I'll never catch up. But Bob says I made his day. I got his spirits up. You know? Billy. Alright. Yeah. Guys, come in. I, po I post all this stuff on the internet. It's pretty neat. Yeah. I even post about Andy and what he does on the internet. Especially if he burps and fart. I title, I title it. I title it. I title it. I titled the subject line uh, Andy farting. <laughs> and they read it. That might be stolen. What's bike stolen? Oh, okay. You need a fart sound? Okay. on the bus. I remember those days kids would be like that. Chucky and all them. Charlie Ward and all them. Do that stuff. And Michael Klein said, Charlie, cut that out. And then Charlie would do it some more. And Michael Klein would get irritated. I think Andy can make that sound. Can you make that sound? Well, I know you can make it with your lip or something. I mean, you can do it that way. Uh, yeah, you can do it that way. Uh, you should see him with a whoopee cushion. Man, he had everybody laughing in the car. Daddy broke it. You broke it? You broke the whoopee cushion? Yeah. What, you ate them? What? Wow, someone ate a whole bunch of navy beans. You know. <laughs> Yeah, Cuffler's about to do in the new illusion, and all of a sudden he lets one. Whoa, anybody catch the... What was that? And then all of a sudden, whoa, that magic trick, it's, it's strong. <laughs> Boing. New one. Oh, okay. The camera. Oh, he wants to do it like... Uh, that sounds like an elephant. <laughs> You can buy, you can buy a CD with play has nothing but fart sounds on it. And then you can buy one of these things that you just clip on, like a like a like a cellular phone that just you press a button it just makes fart sounds. Do you it's, use mark, these marks and do you bleed on it? I left blood and I left two marks. You must got sharp teeth, that's why. Can some water? Teeth all yellow. Uh, they drink water. They only drink ice water. I mean, we do have, we do have Mr. Pibb, but that that was when we had our uh, cookout today. I know. I got extra Pibb. I went up to Walmart and saw Bob. Yeah. Extra Pibb. Have you had Doctor 
thunder. Oh, the thunder. I, I saw that and one mom like, okay, that must taste like Dr. Pepper like it Dr. Does. Pepper does. Yeah. Hey, Andy, you still got that scar on your stomach where you hurt, scratched it real bad? Is it still there? Still not there? Mm -hmm. No? Look what I can do with my face. Oh, oh, Andy can do that. Look, Andy can do it. Watch. Watch, watch. He can go all the way in. Watch this. Oh, okay, you want to do it? Let's see if you can do it the longest. Okay. Oh, you want to do it? Oh, Joey's got competition. Joey can do it. Uh, I wouldn't have smashed my box. I did it the longest. Uh, Andy tried to do it the longest, yeah. My boxes are show. Oh, your boxes are show. Oh, okay. Wait, well, I'm joking. I was about to stop the picture, but Joey kept stopping. Yeah, that's a whole butt. I, I tried to get my nephew Eugene to do it. He weighs 124. He sucked in real good, too. I was like, oh, man, you guys can do that. I can't do that. It doesn't matter. Oh, you want to do it again? All right. My stomach's gone. Yeah. Ugh. Watch this. Uh, oh, like I ate my stuff in my own stomach. Hey, I've never seen yeah. that bruise. One finger. I know you swallow air, you burp there, but you know. Hey. One. What? Put the camera here. Here, you hold it. You do it. Uh, Hurry up the battery box. I want wow. boxes. That hurt. We don't want to see them. You don't want to see them. You got Scooby Doo ones. Can I go? I got fireballs. I try that. I got rattlesnakes. I can verify you got Scooby Doo. I got it on tape. I have got them on. You ain't got them on. That's true. But if you start talking like Scooby Doo and wanting to pig out, then I think you got them on. Scooby Doo rock. I'm the ghoul. Let me look for the tape, you guys. I know it's around here. If you see the word uh, battery, uh, low battery, then it cuts. It doesn't say low battery, it's blank. Hey, Andy. Andy, look. Oh. It's Howard Terrace now. No, it's the Empire State Building, right? What is it? What is it? It, he lit, it's making a statement. It lives where water is, where there's salt. And if all the sea salt was piled on top of it, it would cover the whole entire state building, entire state building. That's what they're getting at. Oh, that's what they're getting at. Bobby in the bathroom, you didn't put the photo? I don't know if you see any fish over there or not. Sometimes you can find fish. Auto guy. Grandma has one of them. Oh, yeah. Well, I tried to not make it look like I'm recording drunk or something, like Tommy said. I tried to keep the city as much. Don't record drunk. I try to keep it as steady as possible. I'm trying my best. So basically, if Tommy could. So, Tom, so I, I basically I brought Nautica to, to, to I brought Nautica to Tommy. He couldn't be there, so. Magically, it's going to come to him at a magic moment. And my nephew Eugene's never been to Nautica, so he'll see it on tape. He's never been here to Nautica. And he lives here in Virginia? He, uh, they moved this summer. Oh, okay. They oh, he'll love it. Well, they lived oh, somewhere. Is he? They lived in North Carolina, and then they moved to Roanoke, Virginia. And now they're back in the Portsmouth where, uh, where, where my parents are and where Ray, Ray's parents are. Because my well, sister married. What neighborhood Mar is Stacey, that? Stacy and all yeah, that. I want to geek too. It's behind Mid City. I want to geek. I live in Mid City area. I want to I want to geek. It's three, Well, my parents are 3211 Brighton Street, and they live Bright? Brighton. B R I G H Brighton Street, 3211 Brighton Street, two two three seven zero seven. That's just up the street from me. And I live in County. And.
Where'd they go? Joey and Amanda. I can. The magic button. Do what? I said you need to see the magic button. The magic button. Well, how did they leave? We just they came up through here, right? No, I haven't seen them. Oh, there they are. Where were they? Oh, I see. They came through there. No. I was wondering where they went. I was like, now I know they came through here. Where'd they go? It's like you did Copperfield 13 portal vanish and then reappear somewhere else. It was a bad Well, Andre called Christian Magician. I said, I emailed him and said, I pray somehow you're able to pull a real rabbit out of the hat. Because he's allergic, he's allergic to rabbits. Look. He sa it says that Undercall has, has performed every illusion you can possibly of all, including close-ups, except for one. And I read it. But pulling a rabbit out of a, a hat, and I'm thinking, wonder why. Because he's allergic to rabbits. And I think, well, I need to buy these realistic ones, you know. There you go. Hey, Andre. Ta-da! Now, for my final trick, I shall pull a bunny out of a hat. What up, a dog? What's so funny? Oh, he's imitating allergic to a bunny. Oh, were you really coughing? Huh? Are you really coughing? No, he's imitating. You know, like you know, like how you can act, Andy. I mean, uh, now I'm calling Tommy Andy. I said, you know how you you can act act good, Andy, and I meant to say Tommy. Yeah. Yo, dog, bring my bike out in one piece. Yo, dog. Yeah, yeah what up, dog? <laughs> woof, woof. Yeah. <laughs> I was missing under call to get every illusion but except for rabbit a hat because he's allergic to it. So An uh, Eugene almost said Andy again. Brilliant. I just got me some sugar-free ice cream. It tastes just as good as real stuff. Oh, that's interesting. Bill's looking for his imaginary friend, Killer Bunny. Magic Bunny. Magic Bunny? <laughs> I, I thought I'm hopping the waves. Oh, man. <laughs> so it's carrot for him. You want some more carrots? Like right, carrot top. Never mind. Oh, they're playing hide and go seek over there. Huh? Oh, they're playing. I hear someone thinking, playing hide and go seek. I want to get a freeze brain. Let him eat before he throws up with you. Before I get a freeze brain. And it throws up with you. That too. His wife. Damn. <laughs> okay, y'all. Bobby, come here. Oh, okay. yeah. Why do you think you're so up? Why you... <laughs> oh, man. Well, after Tommy got me on the Sonic, uh, the Outer Limit, I'm trying to think. The the uh, the uh, hurler. That was no. the last thing. You you got in order. Got on the drop zone. The um, volcano. 
And he went on the, uh... Oh, Outer Limits? Outer Limits, and then the, um... Curler. Curler. And that's it, I feel like that... Who? Who? Yeah, Tommy did that on tape. I went look and the camera went there. There's no Klingons over there. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, Tommy's laughing, you know. Well, they want to warp 10. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, no magic shops there at all. Bobby's in the Now, I know Bush Gardens, when I go, they will have a magic shop in Hastings. Um, really? Yeah. They don't have Hastings. They don't got Hastings? No. They tore it down? No. It's what? Ireland. It's called Ireland now? They have a magic shop there, because I went there. It is okay. You know, I guess it, it's probably not called Wizard Works anymore. Right, give me one second. Oh, let me zoom in on it. Oh, I see some animals climbing trees.